Hello, I'm Tim Mosel. I'll be teaching the course that you're in this semester. And I just want to take a moment to welcome you to the course. And I'm going to give you a tour of the course and give you some information that will help you become more successful throughout the semester. Hopefully, you will achieve an A in the course, but more importantly, you'll achieve greater fitness and greater health and better nutritional habits. I've had many students in the past that have lost 10 pounds, 20 pounds, even 30 pounds taking this class and following what you're supposed to be doing. So basically, when I say this is a life-changing class, I have many examples of people's lives that have actually been changed because it creates better habits for your future. So please try your best in the class. Take advantage of the opportunity to be graded on your activity, and that can help motivate you to stay more active. So I'll give you a tour of D2L uh, here in a moment. Once you're in D2L, the first thing you want to do is click on this content tab. And there's going to be some activities that you'll need to do the first week of classes because there's some due, due dates coming up at the very end of the first week of class. So you want to look at the accomplishments for week one. Read through those accomplishments and see what has to be done for that week. Make sure you thoroughly read through the syllabus. Everything you need to know about the course is in the syllabus. Uh, if you have any questions about the course, check the syllabus. And after you read thoroughly through the syllabus, if you still have questions, please send me an email. And when you send an email, please include your course number. Uh, I have seven courses that I'm teaching, so it's important that I know which course that you're in. And then first week, you need to complete your syllabus quiz and the PAR-Q. Those are the only two quizzes that you can take more than one time. So I encourage you to take those multiple times until you have 100% on both of those. Syllabus quiz, that's just a quiz to make sure you're familiar with the course and what's in the syllabus. And the PAR-Q, you'll answer yes or no for all the questions. Okay, so that's initially what you want to be doing. Then, going down the list here, you've got quizzes. So the first week, you'll already have the first two quizzes out of the way. You have module quizzes. So you have eight module quizzes that cover different topics. The module quizzes are based on information that you will find over here in your PowerPoints. So if you click on the left side where it says PowerPoints, you will see all the different modules for uh, what's covered in the quizzes. Every single item that's a quiz question is contained in the corresponding module. So make sure you read through the modules before you take your quizzes. Uh, going down the list, you have an activity tracker assignment. So for this assignment, you will have to have an activity tracker. That could be an Apple Watch, it could be a Fitbit, or it can be a budget price Mi Band, which is around $25. Or an alternate uh, method would be a Fitbit mobile track, which is just free app that you put on your phone and it will track your steps. So this has details of what you need to do in terms of uh, setting up your account at Fitbit. So basically you'll be in one of two categories. You have a Fitbit, or you don't. If you don't have a Fitbit, you'll also have to use Google Fit to, to sync with your app so that the information can be fed back to the website that we're using to keep track of your activity, which is eFit. Uh, in your syllabus, there is a link very specific to your class that you need to click on to register and create a, an account at eFit.health. Uh, but it's a very specific address, so make sure you use the syllabus link uh, to make sure you get into the correct course. So once you get signed up with either Fitbit or Google Fit, you'll then need to register on eFit. And once you get into eFit, what you'll do, so this is, this is what eFit is looking like. I've already logged in. Uh, you'll come over here to the left where it says Sync Tracker. You click on... Uh, sync tracker, then sync fitness tracker. And I've already done it, so it's not going to show, but you'll see two links. One is for Fitbit, one is for Google Fit. Uh, choose the appropriate one. And once you sync that the first time, you don't ever have to sync it again. It will keep track of your steps and your activity minutes for the rest of the semester. You don't have to upload it or submit anything for that assignment either because eFit will feed this information back into the D2L gradebook and you'll get automatically graded like that. But it doesn't show up in D2L until the end of the semester. Uh, here on eFit, you'll see 
updated stats and numbers. Every day it gets updated around midnight. All right, so that's your activity tracker assignment. You'll want to walk. Uh, it's going to take the best scores five out of seven days of the week. So if you have two bad days out of the week, those aren't even counted for your grade. So you can get maximum score of 10,000 steps per day or 100 activity minutes per week. Uh, whichever one you do better at each week is the grade that you will receive. So one week, your better score might be steps. The next week, your better sco score might be activity minutes. So just read through this. It'll give you some additional details. But in a nutshell, that's, that's what's expected there. Then the first week of school of classes, you also have to do a fitness assessment. So there's a pretest at the beginning of the semester, and at the end of the semester, we want to compare to see how much better you've gotten over the semester. If you don't do the pre and the post test both, you will receive a zero. So it's important that you do both because we want to see what type of progress you made. Now, you're not graded on progress. You're not scored on that at all. You could do one push-up at the beginning of the semester and two push-ups at the end of the semester, but as long as you submit that data, you will receive 100% of the score. Once you do your fitness assessment, you'll enter that data into the eFit website. So going back to that, you just come here to fitness assessment, enter data, and it's very, very simple to fill this out, as you'll see. You just select your age, you select your height, weight, how many crunches, how many push-ups, and how long it took you to walk one mile. And you also make sure that you have your heart rate for that one mile walk. Click save data, and you'll have that information in there. Uh, some other things on this uh, eFit website, nutrition paper charts. You do have a written nutrition paper assignment where for three days you have to track the food that you consume. You can really use any app that you want, but I strongly encourage you to use Fitbit. It's just kind of easier. And with your Fitbit app on your phone, you can scan food labels. So this on eFit will help you generate the charts. It will tell you the first dates, and as you can see in this example, February 3rd, 2019, that's the first time that I had three consecutive days in a row to track nutrition. So I would just input that date, then it clicked create charts, which it would create. I can then right click on that to print it as a PDF and include that into my paper. You don't have to use this. You could get those charts from your fitness app if you know how to do that. Uh, some other things about this site, it will show you your current activity grade. It's not your grade for the course, but your activity grade. So it's showing by week. And it's showing you the criteria, what you received your grade for that week. So in this example, this week two, my grade came from steps. Uh, in the first week, my grade came from activity minutes because that was the higher score between the two. You have a walking journey. The walking journey just takes a look at how far can you walk throughout the semester uh, based on the number of days we have at 10,000 steps per day. And... The red icon is going to be how many miles you've walked currently. The blue icon is bonus questions. Like there's a 50-mile bonus. Once you get that, you'll get a, a free question or free answer for the final exam. And there's bonuses along the way uh, for this walking journey. And then you have a health and fitness summary, which I think is really nice because it takes all of your personal stats and personal information, and it puts it all together in an easy-to-understand way. And it's got a lot of information on here. It's got some charts that are personalized for you. It's got a customized workout based on your maximum heart rate and your resting heart rate. It tells you what your heart rate should be when you work out for best results. So this is a very informative page that I uh, encourage you to spend some time taking a look at. You also have some workouts that you can do. So when you set up your account at eFit, you select your goal. Based on your goal, it will tell you week one, week two, week three, and so on, what to do. And then it has a description of the exercise as long as a, as well as a video that you can watch to see the, the correct form for that. And then if you should need to come in here and edit your profile, that's another option. So that's essentially what you would be using with eFit. Uh, so back to D2L. So make sure you get those fitness assessments done, first week of school and then the last week of school. Nutrition written assignment, I already mentioned that. That is a 500 word paper that you will have to upload into D2L and right here's the upload link for, for that. 
The final exam. You have a time span of four days that you can take that exam, but once you start it, you have two hours to complete it. If you don't finish in two hours and it times out, that's your score, there's no redos. And I'll also mention that in this course, there are no late assignments accepted. If you are five minutes late to turn in your assignment, it's a zero. And the reason is, you know, as soon as you watch this video, you know when your due dates are. There's no reason and there's no excuse to be late. Uh, if you wait till the very last minute and you have an emergency come up, that's really your fault. You should get things done early. Don't wait until the last minute. So if you do have a late assignment, please don't waste your time asking me if I'll accept it because I'm sorry, but to be fair to everybody, I will not accept your assignment. Um, and then you have some home workout links where you can go to different websites and follow workouts. But essentially your workouts could be as involved as doing your 10,000 steps per day, just go for a walk a couple times a day. Or if you want to focus on maybe you get 100 activity minutes per week where you're working out with your heart beating faster to get those activity minutes in. Uh, the course activities link, the only thing you need that for is assignments. And that's where you're going to upload your written uh, nutrition paper. Other than that, D2L is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, uh, easy to use. If you have questions throughout the semester, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, I respond pretty quickly when possible to your emails. So uh, look through your syllabus, look through D2L. D2L. If you still have questions, please let me know. I wish you the best this semester. I am here to help you. I'm here to help ensure that you're successful. So do your best, try your best, and really apply yourself, and you'll get a lot of great benefits from this course. All right, have a great semester.